Hey guys, Nikolai here. Before we get started, I'd like to tell you about the sponsor of today's video, ProGuides. ProGuides is a platform designed for you to quickly learn and rank up in League of Legends. They're even backed by professional players and have detailed courses for any concept you're struggling with. If you have any questions at all after watching a video, you can use Genius, where a master or challenger ranked player will immediately answer any questions you have. So make sure to check out ProGuides with the link in the description. And with that being said, let's jump into the video. I recently made a video titled Why Japan Dislikes League of Legends. And in this video, we discovered that Japan, despite having a large population and being one of the biggest gaming markets in the world, Japan has the smallest player base with 100,000 players. The EU West server is the biggest official Riot server with 3 million ranked players and an estimated 21 million accounts made. But China has so many players that they decided that to make League of Legends work, they needed not one server, not two servers, but 27 different servers with over 70 million ranked players and 115 million registered accounts. So let's ask the question, why does China love League of Legends? And most importantly, how much do they love League of Legends? From having the biggest player base in the world to selling real life League of Legends branded products and discounts at restaurants depending on your rank, we'll be talking about all this and more in this video. However, to get things started, you should know that in the year 2000, gaming consoles were banned by the Chinese government because they said video games could have adverse effects on Chinese youth. To be honest, I think League of Legends would have a bigger negative effect on the youth more than any other game, but that's none of my business. Now, this didn't stop Chinese people from playing video games altogether. Many companies stepped up to make knockoff consoles in the gray markets. But for whatever reason, the Chinese government didn't ban PC games. And that is where League of Legends steps in. In 2009, Riot Games was preparing to release their first game, League of Legends. And somewhere along the way, they got an investment of $8 million from Tencent, one of China's biggest tech companies. Part of the deal that came with these $8 million was that Riot Games would come over and launch their game in China. Also fun fact, this is the same company that two years later would go and purchase 100% of Riot Games for $400 million and owns League of Legends today. Which is really weird because why would you pay $400 million for League of Legends when it's free to play? So going on with the title of this video, one of the most logical reasons that at least sparked League of Legends life in China was that with console games being banned up until 2015, all of the gamers had to settle for bootleg games or PC gaming. And with that, a large part of the player base just had low-end computers and probably not a lot of money to spend on video games. And here comes League of Legends. Free to play, runs good on toasters, and it's being pushed by Tencent into everyone's faces. A hundred million people start playing and they realize, oh hey, this is actually the best video game of all time. And I really like that character, Teemo. <laughs> but alright, this is where things get serious. League of Legends being so big in China is far from dumb luck. Check out this article I found by Tech in Asia in 2015, where they go on to talk about how the Chinese PC gaming market is huge, but the top three games being played in 2013 are Dungeon Fighter Online, a game called Crossfire, and of course, League of Legends. Hey guys, Professor Thinking Face here. Nikolai didn't explain what these games are, so let me do that quickly. Dungeon Fighter Online is a free-to-play MMORPG with over 600 million players. It has been compared to games like MapleStory and may have small player bases around the world, but it is huge with Chinese players. And Crossfire is just a free-to-play Chinese Counter-Strike. But two and a half years later, the top three games in China are still Dungeon Fighter Online, Crossfire, and League of Legends. The sources that this article used are Chinese websites that Google Translate isn't helping me out in finding what the most played games for 2018 are. But 
I did find the list of the highest earning games in October of 2018, which you can assume correlates with most played games. And the top three on that list consisted of Dungeon Fighter Online, League of Legends, and Crossfire. Now it's weird, why is China so obsessed with these three games? For five straight years, these games have held such a dominance. And guess what? Behind all three of these games is Tencent. This kind of goes into conspiracy theory territory, but bear with me. For starters, some people actually do think that Tencent has a relationship with the Chinese government that allows their games to be untouched by gaming laws in China. For example, one of if not the biggest competitors to League of Legends is Dota 2, which is owned by Valve on Steam. And Dota 2 coincidentally had to jump through many hoops before being able to relax in China. For starters, Dota 2 started out being banned in China because of its violence and forced Valve to make a whole new different version of Dota 2 called Low Violence that would then comply with China's censorship laws. Now, League was kind of hit with this too, but the game was never banned or anything close to something like that. Although, one thing Tencent wasn't powerful enough to stop the Chinese government from doing is taking Grave Cigar. But it's okay, they gave it back. Which, if you didn't know, China's tobacco and video game laws was the reason why that happened. It was also the reason why a lot of the old splash arts were changed and censored. And today we have new splash arts that comply with everyone's laws around the world. Now, this situation with Dota is just one of many examples. For whatever reason, Steam wasn't able to bring Rocket League into China. But later in 2017, a company made a deal with Psyonix, the developers of Rocket League, and they were able to bring the game into China. And that company was Tencent. <laughs> now with all that being said, I could go on with my tinfoil hat, but even if Tencent worked hard to force people into playing League of Legends and not play other games, the love that players have for this game over there is quite real. Over 100 million people play this game in China. Whether they were brainwashed by Tencent to play it is a different subject. But let's get off Tencent and let me show you how much people in China love League of Legends. First off, since I'm talking about China and the love of the game, over a year ago Riot Games changed the level cap of your League of Legends account from level 30 to unlimited. And of course, a player from China was the first to hit level 1000. I don't quite understand why you would torture yourself like this, but even someone from Europe named Toucan Celeste was not far behind him and also reached level 1000. This is how their accounts look today. And like I mentioned in the intro, League isn't as popular in other countries for companies to use League as marketing quirks. But in China, there's plenty ways to use League of Legends to sell stuff. May I interest you in some Ziggs Pop Rock candy? How about League of Legends KFC? Or if you're not into KFC, why not just visit a full-on League of Legends themed restaurant? And also a while back there was reports of a sushi restaurant offering discounts to players who were high ranked in League of Legends. The highest discount was that challenger players would eat for free. Also very fun fact, apparently low rank players cried about not being included and they ended up adding a small discount for silver players. But alright guys, let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. As always, thank you for watching my video, and if you liked what you saw and you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to be notified when I post my next video. Special thanks again to ProGuides for sponsoring this video, make sure to check them out. Most of all, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Peace.